still early enough in the process that you know I just I don't appreciate how the game will put you into such uh, difficult emotional places. It does. And that's the key thing. It that is the separator. Because again, I told you there are people that are intellectually smart enough to play this game. Like they can do well technically. The tough part is this game can be an emotional slog where you're just like long stretches of a lot of bad stuff happening. And the winning players, they're not the people that like somehow fortune favors them and they avoid all the bad stuff happening to them. It's like, no, the same bad stuff happens to them, but they're rooted in their bodies. They are fully present. They continue to make clean decisions unaffected by tilt. They take breaks when they need to. They work on their strategy away from the game and they work on handling downswings because like you don't become a prep professional if you cannot play during a downswing or you can't make it through downswings. So th this is like the gatekeeper of like what keeps people out from playing professional poker. Okay. Everything, you know, like, as you know, like everything difficult anyone would ever want to do, that's a, a, a major goal. There's some drawback to that goal that keeps other people that don't really want this goal out. And this is it for poker.